Hello, my name is Mark Reinhardt. I am here with the Idaho Calling YouTube channel, and I am here with... Tony Sinesco with the Idaho Carry. Mr. Sinesco, uh, in, in the aftermath of the Sandy Hook Elementary shooting, one of the first things that was talked about by the mainstream press was the subject of the uh, mental health diagnosis of the shooter. First, it being transported from autism, then to mental health, seemingly not researching the subject matter. On, the, on this particular issue, what do you feel is the importance to address mental health alongside with issues relating to gun laws? Well, first of all, I think it has absolutely nothing to do with gun laws. It has absolutely everything to do with a society in decay. Uh, and part of that decay is the fact that we do not care, as we used to, for our mentally ill. If there are people who are dangerous, uh, they should be taken care of. We should have sufficient services through our government to address the issues of people who have the tendency to get violent. Uh, they should be monitored. They should definitely not be able to get within any distance of a gun. And if their families own guns, then that needs to be addressed uh, to make sure that those are secure. But yeah, we do not do what we need to do with our mentally disabled. And those who may have some mental issues, who may not be disabled, but just have a tendency, maybe need to be on drugs. And, and usually what happens is the people stop taking their drugs. They, even those people, should not even have a little bit of access to guns, as happened with our Sandy Hook shooter. Okay, and... Um... And on, in terms of funding for such services to help those who help to help those with issues like that contribute to society as much as you or I, what would you say on the need for addressing such funding? Well, I, th I think that funding is, in light of the amount of money that the government now is going to start taxing everyone who doesn't have health insurance, uh, there should be sufficient funds uh, coming into our government to handle everything that has to do with mental health care. And I think there's going to be more of a focus by our Congress on that. And I'm sure that they're going to start diverting funds uh, to that issue. Because really, in the last two major shootings, that was, that was central. Uh, and, and had we taken the necessary steps, those last two shootings wouldn't have taken place. So we need to institute that. And uh, there was a quote from uh, President Dwight Eisenhower that once said, For every tank built, every rocket fired, every ship launched, takes away in the final sense those, fr those who are not clothed and those who are not fed. Uh, Dwight Eisenhower had said that, and with this in mind, would, do you feel that the budget, uh, that the large budget for foreign aid and for foreign military exercise should be addressed more to the citizens of the United States? Absolutely. I don't think we should spend, be spending a dime outside of this country, uh, outside of um, helping in... Uh, in destitute countries for food. That's the only thing that I can see us spending money on in other countries, is feeding the hungry. Uh, but as far as financing their military or backing anyone else's government, we shouldn't be sending a dime offshore, and that should be redirected. And uh, there was a homeless veteran who appeared on the internet who said, why spend money overseas when we have our own starving, destitute people here? And with that in mind, what is the first steps that we should take to address helping them contribute to society and get back to work? Well, that's a, a whole different ball of wax. First of all, we don't have the kind of hungry that other nations have. We don't have people sleeping outside. As a matter of fact, I just I lived in Washington, D.C. for the past 17 years, and every it seemed like most of the residents there were on some sort of welfare, and they were going through uh, the, 
grocery store lines buying everything except the necessities that people should buy with the monies that are already being spent on them by our government. Uh, and, and in that regard, what kind of ch and what kind of changes in terms of what you can buy for food should be taking place? Well, that, they, they should classify all foods that are necessary for survival and only those foods, not anything at all that is dessert or sugar or alcohol. They spend it on alcohol. They can take, the, in Washington, D.C., they can take their welfare cards and get cash from it. So, you know, if we just redirect the misspent money in Washington, D.C., redirect the money that's being given to all of our poor, we're wasting it. We, I had people, I used to serve process in Washington, D.C., and have been into the, into, into the, the worst neighborhoods. Most homes have large flat screen televisions, even though they're on welfare. They are wearing designer jeans and designer tennis shoes. We don't have a problem with giving money to the poor. We have a, money, a problem directing the money in the right direction. And if we can straighten that out, if we can get our money spent correctly by the people who need money, then, then we're not going to have any issues of hunger in this country. Okay. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you.